you didn't always manage yourself, right? Um, I don't necessarily manage myself. I just represent myself is the best way to put it. That's fair. Um, I, commun- I communicate for myself. But it, would that, was that always the case? Like you've been dating back to when you were a champ? No, I've had to learn. I've been in the game for 16 plus years. So it's like after a while, you build some relationships with people and you understand, you know, I've got a good relationship with Sean Shelby in the sense of communication. Mm. If he wants to talk to me, he can reach out to me. And I think a lot of us fighters can do that with Sean Shelby whenever we want. You just got to have the huevos to do it Mm. because he's a talker and he knows how to get under your skin and he knows how to throw this guy at you and, you know, so, but with Shelby and me, we're pretty, pretty clear line communication. And, and with that, I can get to the point and here we are. Would you uh, recommend for most fighters to have that kind of relationship? Like rather than having a middleman or woman? Well, I think in the UFC, we're signed to a six fight contract. Are we not four fight contract right. usually Yeah, at the lowest? So why would I pay somebody for four fights when it's set after one? Right. That doesn't make sense to me. And then on top of that, with a manager, how how are they supposed to be bringing me in sponsors if the UFC dictates the sponsors? So now UFC dictates the sponsors and UFC dictates the contract. So what is a manager actually doing? They're, they're just talking and creating the communication. And what managers are good at, from my experience, is making it seem like they have all the hookups. But in the UFC, what hookups can you get when the right. UFC makes the decisions for you. Now, if you're in Bellator, if you're in PFL, if you're in any of these other organizations, it makes perfect sense for me, for, to me, for a fighter to have a representation because sponsors can get brought, they can build relationships elsewhere. They can have a lineup of, of like 10 fighters. And because one manager has a lineup of 10 fighters, sponsors might come to them directly and say, Hey, do you have anybody? So then it makes sense. But in the UFC, how many sponsors are even allowed in the UFC? Very few. And they're already decided by the UFC. So the UFC sponsors who they want. And the UFC um, makes the contract. So for me, after one, after the manager um, renegotiates my contract from one fight, I feel like I'll pay them on that. And then from there, I can do the communication from, for myself because it's already the, the contract set. It's only going to go up a certain amount each fight from there and that's already dictated after the first conversation so a manager is really only having one conversation and it's getting and it's getting paid out for four fights that doesn't make sense to me how close have you ever gone to fighting out your contract um pretty close really yeah twice when was yeah. that I renegotiate my contract um, when I get within one or two fights of the end of it. Generally, um, I try to if if the UFC is open to it, and they've always been willing to work with me. Um, I just don't talk like a prick. <laughs> you mean like make it public or to them as as a prick? Yeah, yeah. Just don't either or. Right. Like don't you know? Just if you want to, it's really easy if you just talk to the talk to Hunter talk to Sean Shelby. They're very open to listen to you. If you can create the conversation from a neutral place, mm-hmm. it's when you come at them all crazy. I deserve this. I did. You just got to come from a neutral place. Nobody deserves anything. You earn everything you get in this sport. So you got to understand they're running a business. I've been doing this so long. I've watched the UFC build themselves from spike TV to versus to Fox to ESPN. Like I know what they've done. They're worldwide. They're international. Like it's it's incredible the business model that they've that they built into sold to WMG uh, WME IMG or whatever yep. that long acronym is. Um, just the steps that they've taken. How can you not respect the UFC as a business? That they're pretty they're pretty smart. 